Maybe I'm in hell right now. This might all just be the afterlife at this point. I'm the only person who did not get sick once in India. I had both a viral and bacterial gut infection happening simultaneously. Charlie, Antonia, good to see you guys. I have to be honest, I did not know anything about the book, but you're making me want to go and read the book now. How aware were the two of you of this uh, story when it came to you, like with the script? Is it something you'd already heard about or was it right? Okay, let's do some reading now. I read the book, uh, the novel, five, uh, seven years ago when Eric okay. Singer, who was our original producer and uh, writer, gave it to me and sort of co-opted me into his dream of us being the creative team that would bring this to life. Uh, and so I read the book seven years ago and fell madly in love and happily joined him on his obsession to, you know, of, of adapting this thing. Have you both been to India? When Apple picked up Shantaram, it became official that they were going to do it and I was going to play Lynn. Uh, my partner and I went to India for a month and we we landed in in, um, in Mumbai and just had a hotel room for the first night and had no plans. We just wanted to sort of go with the flow and see what India wanted to show us. And that trip was like everything for me, you know, and, you know, it, it was sort of like an opportunity to go and live our own sort of safe little version of Shantaram, because at that point we were both obsessed with the book. and. You know, so, um, yeah, we've, I've been to India, I think, five, four or five times. Okay, yeah, it's an incredible place. I was going to say, how do you fare there? Because a lot of people go and they get deli belly and they can't deal with the spice and they can't deal with the street food. How have both of you fared when you've been there on that side of things? Because I was even great. Struggling. I'm the only person who did not get sick once in India. I was thriving i was having the time of my life i went veggie and i just never touched anything raw or sort of suspicious looking i was always taking sort of very well cooked stuff and uh, and i didn't get sick but that yeah, guy on the other I, hand i didn't do so well <laughs> i at one point i had uh i had like a really intense um respiratory infection i had both a viral and bacterial gut infection happening simultaneously i got an ear infection conjunctivitis in both eyes and then i got a bad mosquito bite and contracted dengue fever all at the same time uh, you know, and in Hollywood, the show must go on. You still got to go to work, you know, every day and work 14 hours. So, you know, we, we uh, you know, I, I had my India experience, I'd say. Charlie, how are you even still alive? I have no idea. <laughs> But, I, I, I'm, um, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure, sure that I am. This might all just be the afterlife at this point. Wow. Well, no, uh, you wouldn't be doing press junkets in the afterlife because, you know, that's <laughs> no, true. no, I yeah. would be doing that's, true. that's true. That's <laughs> true. Unless I was a very bad boy in my life. You know, there's two, there's uh, reportedly, there's two places you can go in the afterlife. And maybe I'm in hell right now. Oh. Oh. I have to no, end on present, that. Um, no, so. Sorry, I, you know, I, I was just riffing off your joke. Okay. I know, and it was a joke. It was a joke. We are absolutely. Yeah, well, I was definitely joke. half joking for sure. <laughs> half joking. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, guys, good luck with the series. Like, Thank I said, you so much. Great job.